Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past couple of videos, we have learned how to initialize a database using a JPA and Hibernate, right? In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to initialize database using a Spring JDBC. So if you go to the Spring Boat uh, uh, official documentation and if you go, go through the database initialization, then you'll get the uh, third point 78.3 saying that initialize a database using a spring JDBC. So saying that a spring JDBC has a data source initializer feature, a spring boot enables it by default and loads SQL from the standard location a schema.sql and data.sql in the root of the class path. In addition, a spring boot will load the schema. Uh, hyphen platform dot sql right so if you have a different database like mysql or oracle then platform based schema dot sql and data dot sql you can create so like a schema hyphen mysql dot sql a schema hyphen oracle dot sql something like that right so this file will contain the uh, ddl query right basically which creates the database in our uh, a schema and data uh, data like data hyphen mysql dot sql or data hyphen oracle dot sql will contain the ddl query basically that publish data into our corresponding uh, database table right so if this two file is present in the class part then is and uh, uh, a spring data source in slice uh, you have given as if true then these two files will be uh, run by the spring boot application right so and uh, spring dot data source dot platform value can assign like mysql db2 and whatever database you want to uh, uh, you want to uh, use right and uh, so in this video tutorial we are going to you we are going to slice database using a spring jdbc so this project we have already created in our previous video tutorial so i'm going to make another copy of this project in the same workspace and i would say uh, a spring boot a spring boot uh, jdbc database initialization so just i have given the different name and uh, let, let's expand this project so here maven is trying to download all dependencies so after certain while this error will go away uh, now what i'll do so a lot of things i'm going to remove over here so this class is not uh, as we are going to use a spring jdpc so this is this is basically entity class we have defined so just i'm going to make as a simple model class and that's this these things i'm going to remove from here right so let's remove these things and make it as a simple model class so all jpa compliant annotations i have removed from here right now next change uh, we have our repository right so here if you see we have uh, employee repository that we are using over here right so here employee repository i'm going to define as a class now and uh, this this is extending current repository repository that i'm gonna remove and this class i'm going to annotate data as at the rate repository so so here i have annotated this class as at the rate repository and here i'm going to declare as directly jdbc template so let's declare the jdbc template my machine is a bit slow jdbc template and here just i'm going to auto wipe this guy auto wipe let's make import and here i'm going to create a method is called public wide create employee and here i'm going to pass as employee object so let's import it and here let's create a, a simple SQL 
and insert query I'm gonna specify so we have already insert query on the class path so we can copy from here so in double quotes you can specify and here let's arrange it properly and here now here we want some dynamic value right like prepared a statement right so what i'll do so here i'm going to place three placeholder instead of uh, hard coding these values right as we prepare sql query in prepared statement right now jdbc template is having a api is called update right so jdbc dot update and uh, there are several api one of the api i'm going to use uh, that is which takes first parameter as a uh, sql and second is var arg object of var arg so sql query and here we'll have to extract data from employee and we will have to pass data in the this order itself first we will have to pass get email then comma employee dot get uh, employee name sorry not employee id but name then we will have to pass employee salary right that's it so our repository class is created now here instead of calling same method we will have to call create uh, employee and that's it we are ready this much modification we will have to do in our previous project so i'm expecting you have would have watched my previous videos uh, now uh, uh, here in properties application dot properties i'm gonna make a lot of changes so first of all i'm going to remove these things this is not any more needed so this is not any more needed because we are going to use a spring with jdbc now some of the things is needed uh, uh, but uh, just as of now i'm going to comment it right so, or you can see you can leave these th three things right so uh, still i want a schema.sql and data.sql should run so this is basically initializes our databases right so what i'll do i'm going to drop uh, this table uh, from our existing schema right so the, as of now there is no table in the spring boot dpa so here once we'll run this project right then uh, our spring boot will scan is there any data dot sql and schema dot sql files are present in a resources folder if that is there because we have specified these two uh, file location then first of all schema.sql is going to run followed by data.sql so schema.sql contains our DDL queries basically this creates our database table uh, first that will do the cleanup operation then after that will create and second uh, query will populate data into that table and from our application we are trying to uh, insert one more record that is for Sean Murphy so we will get finally three records to be inserted into our database so let's run this project and this we have done using a spring jdbc right so let's run this project so we have run this project and so now uh, nothing got printed on the console but if you go to the database and you refresh it then you'll get three records to be inserted right so this two records is coming from the data.sql and this table itself is getting created by the this schema.sql right you don't need to create basically this table but the thing is that first our table gets dropped and then after that this table is getting created right so uh, basically if you would have some uh, already record present in your database table then that is going to a loss you are going to loss those data right so in real scenario you would not want table to be dropped and then after that created right like in production you cannot drop existing table and after that you cannot recreate it again right so still there is just some problem but still 
we are able to initialize our database right but there is some problem right we would not want to uh, drop this table right and we do, do not want to this table should uh, this schema uh, should uh, try to create recreate table if this table is already exists in the database then that should not try to recreate it again as we will get some kind of SQL exception right so there is some problem which can be removed by the some uh, some database migration tool and that's what we need uh, some kind of database migration tool like uh, uh, like you have a flyway and liquid so in next video series we are gonna discuss about the I mean tools like flyway and liquid which helps us to basically automate this uh, DPS, DBS script and we can apply some kind of uh, incremental changes on the uh, databases right so if you have a several release in your software right so in every release you would have some java changes as well as some DBS script changes right and those DBS script changes you would want to apply on the existing uh, existing uh, database itself right and make sure that that, that is not gonna uh, um, um, that is not going to make any uh, inconsistency right while applying uh, incremental changes right so uh, when we talk about the uh, tools like flyway then you go to the website like star.spring.io and here you get uh, if you go to the switch to the fullest version and here you search for the sql then if you in this category if you come to the bottom then you have a flyway as well as liquid so spring spring boot supports uh, spring boot basically can be integrated with the flyway database migration library as well as liquid base database migration library and uh, database migration you can fully automate right and uh, uh, the, these tools basically takes care about uh, the database uh, uh, database uh, changes uh, should apply in the consistent manner so in next video we are going to first explore uh, how we can integrate a spring boot uh, with flyway and after that we'll see uh, concept about the liquid as well so thanks for watching this video and this code uh, spring with jdbc database initialization i'm going to put on the github and github location you'll get in the video description itself thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial